What is up guys and gals, this is Brandon back with another episode on Brandon Coin and today we're going to be covering the UBIT4 uh, PCI splitters. So um, what this does is it plugs into a regular PCI Express 1 slot and then it splits it to four USB 3.0s. It's got a little heat sink on it, link for this will be down below in the description. I've had good luck with uh, this particular model, um, I bought two of them. I gave one to a friend of mine and I held on to this one and they seem to work well on Windows 10 Windows 7 I have an issue with them but uh, you have to do one card at a time but I figured I was gonna add it on to the my current system I'm using so I'll show you the process and kind of what goes down and and how it works so um, let me show you the system right over here so here is the system, it is the Ryzen processor, I have a 1080 right here and a 1050 Ti and I'm just going to slam it in this extra PCI slot right there and then I'm going to run my USB cables up and I have a 1030 up here and I also have a 750. Uh, that's the 750 that I just swapped out the thermal paste on and it has the uh, broken fan that came off of a 1050. So this is a 1050 cooler on a 750 but since the broken fan um, this one it won't go up to full RPMs and it just vibrates a little bit but the 750 always ran cool and now it's got fresh thermal paste so it should be good to go alright guys so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure to power off the system and then turn off your power at your power supply so I'm gonna go ahead and power this system down stop mining uh, let's see here, shut down. Once it's fully powered down, everything's got no power, then I'm going to flip the uh, the switch on the power supply. Okay, still waiting for those fans to kick off. I usually wait till all the fans kick off on the, on the CPU cooler and the graphics card. Now I'm going to flip the power off and then turn off and then unplug the power supply. So, uh, originally I was thinking about taking the splitter and plugging it in right beside the uh, the 1050 but it's actually going to block the uh, the fan on the 1050 perfectly so instead I'm going to take that 1050 out put the splitter right there and then run the 1050 the 750 and the 1030 all through this U-bit splitter so I have three cards on here I have been successful with four cards um, I just don't have an extra four cards to put on it right now so yeah let me pull this one out we have a 1050 Ti right here. The U-bit splitter just is going to plug right into the full-size PCI Express slot. So that full-size slot's the one we're going to be using, and it just plugs right into there. And don't worry about see how it's got the extra in the back. You don't even need that. So it'll just work right in that front section of a full-size slot. Um, now I have my USB cables. I'm going to go ahead and plug those into the back and onto the top of this splitter. Alright, and just to note, when you plug all your USB cables in, these splitters are very easy to like wiggle up and out of their position. So you have to make sure they are fully seated all the way down. So after I plug everything in, then I make sure to just push down on it. And yes, it is fully seated and we're good to go. Alright, now my other two cards that I have here. This is the 1050 Ti. And the one with the broken fan is the 750 that I just swapped the cooler on. Um, the 750 cooler is actually on the 1050 Ti that I have over in that system. Um, just because this broken fan doesn't let this one spin up to full speed. Um, I did actually find a replacement fan for the Zotac 1050 online. Uh, I bid on it on eBay, so maybe I'll win that, but let's go ahead and I'm using version 006C risers, and I'm gonna put those on the, the card. So, yep, lock it down. That one's installed, and Actually, I do have a 008 riser right here, so I'm going to put that riser on this card, and yeah, 
I just have an extra 006 riser for later. Alright, so now if you see on the splitter, I have three plugged in. You make sure that the splitter is fully seated. Um, one going to the 1030, one going to the, I think this is the, which one is this? This is the 750 because it's got the broken fan blade, and then this is the 1050 Ti. So now I'm going to plug in the power. Actually, can I do that right here? Plug in the power. And on Windows 10, I've had a lot more luck of just plugging them all in and then turning it on. So you know, All the fans are spinning up, so let's see what uh, Windows does. What is up, guys? Okay, so the computer booted up and booted in. All the cards are being recognized. I noticed on Windows 10, when I plug everything in and then turn it on, it will hang up at the login screen for maybe five to ten minutes. It looks like it's frozen, not doing anything. Just give it a minute, go get some food, come back. It's well worth the wait because what it's doing is trying to figure out the drivers and what needs to go where. Um, and I mean, it found everything I needed to on here. So the GTX 7. Alright guys, so this is the GT1030 running by itself. Uh, it's pulling 206 kilohash on NeoScript. Looks like that's the most profitable at the moment for the 1030. I'm um, getting about 26 cents a day, which is definitely an improvement from what it was doing like a week ago. Uh, let's see here. It's running a, a toasty 53 degrees Celsius with 100% power, 100 on the core, and 200 on the memory. With the fan speed locked at 70 so um, just gonna let it do its thing and let's check let's stop this and check on the 1050 ti and by the way that is running through the splitter so I don't think you actually lose any hash rate running through a splitter but uh, a lot of people have asked and are wondering so here's the 1050 ti let me switch over to it right here I have it running at 90% power 150 on the core uh, 300 on the memory and it's running it's this one will probably end up being somewhere in the 50 degrees Celsius range it's like 44 and climbing right now it's making in about 61 it should make like 65 cents a day but it's on NeoScript pulling 467 kilohash so solid little card right there um, we're getting back close to what these things were making in December so back in the heyday in the prime when they were making like top dollar, these were like dollar a day cards, if not more. So we're at about 60% of um, the most that these things have ever made. So uh, that's a, it's a good direction to be headed. I'd, I'd rather be going up than going down. So thank you guys for watching. I cannot get the actual uh, benchmark specs on my 750. I have to pull it back down. Every time I try to benchmark it, it just goes straight to overheating. So I'm going to pull that CPU or the uh, GPU cooler back off and try to keep clean off that heat sink and clean off the die again and make sure I get a really good connection with the thermal paste because uh, I don't think it's, it's just not doing right. It's doing something wrong. So thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you all later today. Adios.